Good morning. Welcome to Home Fen. So, I'm up in Peterborough, travelled up this morning. This beautiful wood with silver birch, oaks, a little bit of mist. I'm with Steve and Colin. And behind you, Martin's been attacked by a load of dogs um, and he's fiddling with his knobs. And to be honest, and there's a joke in there if, you were watching, if you're a member of Thumbs Up Photography, but I'm here as a thumb, with a Thumbs Up Photography um, meet up with the admin guys. We're going to do a Q&A on Facebook live. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I think you're right. And... Uh, yeah, we thought we'd have a shoot beforehand and this is a beautiful place. Steve and Martin have been here before. I've never been here. Looked for it, couldn't find it. But now I've got the parking space. Now I know all about it. I'm really looking forward to doing this. So uh, um, let's get some photographs done. I'll get rid of these dogs who are approaching me and I'll talk to you a bit more. So I'm in Silver Birch Heaven here. Let me show you on the back of the camera here, look. Um, I've been talking at a few camera club talks that I've done recently about exposing to the right and if we look at the histogram, I tend to shoot, oops, with the histogram a bit like that. So I've just lost a, about a stop of it. I don't want to burn out the highlights, but I like my woodland with silver birch to be really, really misty. Um, looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I've got this lovely old fallen tree. Now Steve's been here a few times because he knows a thing or two, and he's already taken us to the spot. He said, I've taken that picture of that tree a load of times. And I really like the light on this on the side of these silver birches. Um, it's a beautiful scene. So we've got half a second, F8, I'm gonna say 64. <laughs> Martin Smithy behind me, who's not been attacked by dogs. <laughs> He's been playing with these knobs. And here we go, I'll put this on the screen for you now. Oh, this place is amazing. I <laughs> really, really love it. I absolutely love, as you possibly know, if you've been following the channel, um, bits of woodland with loads of silver birches. So if I turn you around, we've got, oh, there's this lovely pine tree, look. Beautiful. Um, some more pines here. We've got silver birch, we've got beech, we've got some oaks started about, and we've got a dotted about, and we've got some ferns that are starting to turn color. This is the time of year, the end of September, start of October, when things just start to change. And what I'm interested in this picture, there's a lovely tree, which Steve has pointed out to me, but I'm sure I probably would have noticed because it's very obvious, I guess. And it's beautiful. Let's see if I can show you a little bit clearer. I've got this lovely fallen, well, kind of not even fallen, half fallen silver birch. Um, and there's another one in the background, which is obviously here. And that kind of composition, now there's a lot of sky in this. And as you know, I don't like to get sky in, but I'm seeing a 65, 24 crop as I usually do here to try and get this along. So we're gonna, I think the composition is gonna have this silver birch here and then the tree making a nice shape. There's, there's probably a picture there. And also I think there's another picture with those bits and I might do another one without that in. So three compositions. So to get this in, I've got under this tree, through those branches, and I'm shooting telephoto, which is always good in woodland to compress everything. But this fog that's just hanging around, it's a perfectly still day. Everything's a little bit dewy. It's just gonna look amazing. All right, let's compose this. I'll show the image. Here they come. I'm not afraid of losing what I found. If all the fallen pieces hit the ground, I see it in your eyes, my lover and my bride. Our love's a steady tide I 
So uh, we've been talking a bunch of us about, or all of us, about the fact that sometimes you can just wander through a wood looking for something better and miss stuff. But this is really nice. I would have definitely stopped here. But also, looking through the camera, things tend to spring to life. And working through the composition, I said a second ago there were three compositions. I'm actually only like the one, and it's the one with the silver birch on the right. Let me show you briefly here. There's the one with the silver birch just on the right there, because what happens is this tree obviously curls over, and then this silver birch holds everything together. It just stops the eye from wandering out. So there we go, that's the image. We can see the sky is obviously burning out because that's why that's flashing, but that's not a problem because the photograph, <laughs> which I can't do with this camera, it's gonna be something like that. So all of that bit that's overexposed is gone. I love the little colors around the bottom here. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Wonderful, wonderful. The Your voice so soft and strong. My husband all alone. <laughs> Spotting pictures all over the place here. It's absolutely incredible. I really love this. And I've, I haven't been here more than half an hour and it's already turning into one of my favourite woods. It's that good. Um, brilliant. I've seen another composition here, which I'm just going to show you in front of me. So we've got in the background there, I think that's just a beach that's just appearing behind the back of these silver birches here. And there's kind of like a square, almost like that, but really focused in, or really zoomed in. But there's also some interesting branches just in here, which look interesting. So it might also work as a 65-24. But as with anything, get the camera out, point it at something, and then work your magic. So I think things are gonna happen just through looking at the camera. It's not so easy just looking at it, but it's also, it is about, and I've said this before, about stopping looking. Don't panic, relax, let the woodland come to you. And these branches are starting to talk to me, the colors or the light off the side of the silver birch, which is always spectacular. The mist that we've got looks amazing. Um, right, I'm gonna photograph, I'm gonna put the vlogging camera away now, so I wanna really enjoy this. I wasn't going to vlog at all, but I thought actually I might as well take a few um, or do a video of this for you to enjoy because it's, it's a lovely place, a lovely thing to enjoy with me, I'm hoping. Um, really great to meet Steve and Martin and Colin and, or Steve again, and meet Martin and Colin for the first time. Although we were saying we speak so much on Facebook and Messenger and WhatsApp that we feel like we've known each other for years, even though I've only just met them. <laughs> but. It's been really good, so hopefully a really good day out. I'll come back to you at the end of this, but I'll put some images on now, which is a little bit different for me, because I normally put these on at the end, but I'm gonna put some images on now, then I'll come back at the end. So hopefully enjoy these. I'll put some music on. So uh, sit back, relax, pour yourself a cuppa. Here I come.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was one of the best sessions of woodland photography that I've done, um, certainly for a long, long while. And it was so great to see the other guys as well. Photography is great on your own, but it's also great with mates, a bit of banter, and just to really get ideas from everyone else because nobody knows everything. So, so nice to watch Steve, Martin, Colin doing their thing. If you saw the live uh, on Thumbs Up Photography afterwards, we had a bit of a technical problem or a few technical problems, but we managed to get them sorted out, and I really enjoyed that as well so i'm gonna end it there um but i thought i'd just do a quick channel update for you so i'm actually recording this a couple of weeks later just driving back from my base in norfolk and i've just spent a couple of days with gary and mersey millsy sean mills because in february gary and sean and i are heading to lofoten or lofoten uh, in norway to photograph for a week which i cannot wait for the plan is a year after i'll hopefully be offering workshops if you want to join us or join me certainly um also so we're now in october so the end of this month i'm up to the lakes because i've got a big birthday coming up which is going to mean i'm no longer to be a teacher i'm going to retire at christmas um to do this photography lark seven days a week well, certainly as much as i want to so i'm really looking forward to that obviously I've been waiting for that for many years um it's going to be great very supportive wife really enjoying taking pictures and is so looking forward to going to other places and not have to come back to go to work for a couple of days so that's exciting the birthday is to celebrate my 60th i oh, know i don't look it um <laughs> and that is going to be at the end of october where i'll be in the lakes for a while so i am allowed to do one vlog and one shoot um after that in november at the end well i'm going to meet up with martin and steve and gary and Sean is going to join us. Um, he's not going to be videoing, but Sean's going to come along because he's a really good photographer and we're working on something maybe next year, which I'll tell you about next year. But we're all going up to Scotland, back up to Roy Bridge, uh, where I've got a friend who's got a place that she's, uh, she's renting out to me, which is fantastic. It's a brilliant, brilliant place. I'll put the link in that video if you want to go and check it out. But we are going to photograph Glencoe. And you know I love Glencoe. So I'm really looking forward to taking Sean to those places because he hasn't been um, I know Steve wants to go before uh, he has um, some work done on his knees so really looking forward to all of that and then uh, that's this that's November December January I'm off on holiday but I'll still be putting vlogs out and then on in February the Foton so loads coming up I'm also thinking about thinking very seriously about a camper van so I might sell my Norfolk base and the car and get a camper van because with a camper van you can park by your locations i can take my photography to the next level and i'm really thinking about that seriously so that's for the future but for now thanks ever so much for tuning in um you've watched the video in your thousands lately and that's been fantastic i've really really loved seeing the channel grow and it means that i must be doing something right so leave any comments below um you've seen the images i'll put a couple on at the end but until then, until next Sunday at six o'clock, thanks for coming. See you next week. Bye. I'm not afraid of losing what I found. If all the fallen pieces hit the ground. I see it in your eyes My lover and my bride I love to stay